Hey, what's up traders? This is Mike with the watch list video for Monday, July 29th. We start with the daily spy. We did gap up on Friday and we are back above the 50 day. So we'll see what happens this week. Um, definitely some good calls and good trades from the room this week. Um, you know, let's keep that going. Let's stay vigilant. Let me slide this over for new faces in the room. Please pause the video and read that. It's a good explanation of what we do, what we're all about. Um, on Friday, if you weren't there, um, I called MMM over $1.18 over the mic. And uh, I think I said the risk was about $1.50. It never came close to stopping out. It went up 10 bucks from there, which is pretty unusual for a stock like 3M, right? Um, but a massive rip. So we'll have that one on watch, uh, even though it's extended right now. We definitely want to keep that one on our radar. Um, also called SERV. I'll go to five minute candles to kind of show you the setup here. Extended hours on there. Um, early on, it topped out at 13.03. And as it came back down, I called it back through 13, which was basically right. Let me get that off of there. Basically right about there. Um, and it went up $3.60 without stopping out. So there's a couple nice ones from the room. Um, let's go back to the daily. And by the way, this one I didn't put on the watch list because, you know, it's so extended and you had the big topping tail. It doesn't mean you shouldn't have it on a chart somewhere, right? Um, I would, somebody hopefully have that on a chart. I'll have it on a chart too. But to me, I, I feel like it needs to come in a bit, right? So I'm, I'm not putting it uh, directly on the watch list for a mouse. So let me, let's just go back and start with 3M extended, but definitely put it on the list. C-O-U-R. Um, nice breakout on earnings, but closed way off its highs. I still want to watch it. C-R-E-V. Um, gapped up. I think they're they're going to have the they're going to make the wheels for Corvettes or something. So that was a, kind of a nice headline. Um, gapped up, but closed way off its highs and way off its pre market highs as well. Um, still got great support before that news happened, right in this area. So maybe a, maybe a day or two down, and was we'll certainly start watching it for a turn back up. Um, but I'm going to put it on a chart tomorrow. SAVA continues its strength <clears throat> after getting beaten up down here. It bounced up to here, pulled back, and then now it's kind of headed back up nicely. So it's extended in the short term too, but I'm going to watch it. PSNL holding up really well. Um, don't know much about that thing, but uh, it's definitely a strong stock. I actually couldn't find that many charts that I thought looked great just for tomorrow. You guys know I'm a day trader, so I try to look at stuff that could give me a good trade tomorrow. Um, not a very long list, in other words, for Monday, but uh, we'll add Gapper to the list and, and all that. We'll find plenty to trade. Uh, VFC had this big pop and is flagging, so that one goes on watch. Um, IBM goes on watch. Had that breakout on Thursday, inside day on Friday. TCS, which is the container store, um, had a big pop on Thursday and then an inside day on Friday, the 200 days up above. We'll see. Um, I'm going to put it on watch. I can't figure out why it popped. Um, AMD, it's still just another red day. It's really oversold here, so I'm keeping that one on bounce watch. Same with Dell, um, keeping that one on bounce watch. I mean, I kind of wanted to see a flush down to the 200 day, which maybe we get that um, on Monday or sometime this week. So let's keep that on our radar. And then lastly, MXL just really really beaten up so i'm just that's an ugly daily chart but it also a decent setup for a snapback bounce play so we'll see if it gives us one of our setups as i said earlier we'll add gappers to this list and uh in the pre-market and uh, maybe get some pre-market trades in as well i'll see everybody i don't know 6 30 tomorrow morning have a good night